Hello everyone, Cyber Eclipse here, and we're back for more Star Ocean 2, the second story. As Head we back. left off, we, uh, no we managed to um, yeah. find a secret yeah. passage using uh, heraldry magic, so now we're just gonna go and check it out. After this battle, that is. Hey. And distributing Celine's uh, skill points. I usually like to do that right away or also start forgetting who has what. It's just easier that way. More annoying for you, but easier for me. But that's how the game goes, right? So how was everyone's Mother's Day? Hopefully everyone had a good one. I didn't get to see my mom. But, uh, I will get to see her in June, the beginning of June, so that's going to be good. And I have her gift, so I'll just give it to her then. I haven't been to my hometown to visit any of my family since February. I wasn't aware it had been that long. Jeez. It's amazing how fast time flies. And as you can tell, there's going to be a boss coming, so I'm just healing everyone up. Magic and HP. And do some saving, but you guys don't have to see that, right? Let's just go straight to the room. Looks like I must fight. Better be careful. Lord, yeah. stop stealing my kills. They were weak. Jeez. Ancient writings. Maybe this is what Celine was looking for. We found it! Huh? You mean this? What is this, really? Probably the ancient writings. What does it say? Hmm. It's no good. I can't read it all myself. There's no other way than to go back to the village where I was born and ask an elder there. Or ask a linguistic scholar. Indeed. this game for years, and there are some items that I have still have never tried out, and I have no idea what they do. Oh no! There's nothing inside this treasure! Uh-oh, gargoyles! We're coming closer! Run! Don't just stand there, Rena, you frickin' idiot! Oh well, they would've caught up with, with us anyway. Fight. Let's intercept them now. Yeah. Go, Claude. Damn it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Right there. They gang up on you on either side and they start hitting you. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this. Yeah, there you go. Take that. Let's help out Claude. Make sure that that one doesn't attack Claude. Stop it! I'm helping! <laughs> it's getting kind of loud. I'm gonna turn that down a little. Okay, I was gonna heal, but I guess Celine helped us. And some of the spells are so loud. Cure Light, alright, that's a new healing spell. Oh, my character's leveled up this time. Okay, let's distribute those skill points. But first, we will heal everybody, especially Claude. He took some damage there. You know, 
I've noticed something since I've started this Let's Play. You never realize, or at least I never realize, my own little weird habits when playing a game. Usually it doesn't matter because, yeah, I'll finish this later. I thought that uh, I would save you guys some time in going through the, the dungeon all the way back. You've been such a help. Thank you so much. It was nothing, really. Well, we weren't able to find any clue concerning the sorcery globe. Yeah, too bad. What? Were you investigating the sorcery globe? I could have sworn we told her that. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, that's why I wanted to go to the continent of El. Hmm. Bing! Light bulb went on. I know! Why don't you go with us, Celine? Rena? In unison. Well, I just thought it would be reassuring to have your Heraldic Arts. Let's see. I'll give it some thought. Would you really? Yes, but are you sure you want me to come? Travel together with Celine? Should we... Yeah, sure, she's proven useful. She'll pull her weight. Of course, please, by all means, join us. Well then, maybe I'll accompany you for a while. Good. Isn't that good, Claude? Well, uh, yes. Hmm, Claude doesn't seem too happy with the idea. Then let's head for Click as we had planned to do from the beginning. Celine joins our party. Anyway, as I was saying, you never realize the kind of weird habits that you develop. Like, when you're playing on your own, you think, oh, well, no one's gonna notice them. And then when you play, you don't even notice the yourself enemy. doing them. Be careful. And, yeah, it's, I guess it's, it's just, it's kind of weird. Like with the skill points, I'm used to scrolling around the page until I figure out what I want to do, but that can be really annoying to a viewer, can it? And I, I don't even, I never even noticed myself doing it until recently. Very strange. But, anyway, that's the way I roll. Yeah, see, I just scroll around the page until I make my decision. I just look around and go, hmm, this, hmm, that, in my head. Which one should I do? But, oh well. Alright, so now we are heading back to Cross. Because there is a bunch of cutscenes that is going to affect one of our characters there. There's the enemy. They're nothing. That's right, they are nothing, Celine. You are correct. Oh. You're too easy. Hit the private action button. Any time now? What the hell was I waiting for? Okay, whatever. I don't know. I recorded this so long ago, I don't remember half the stuff I was thinking. Oh well. It sure is busy, just as you'd expect from a castle town. That's right, Claude. Good observation. We are going to go to... Well, we're going to talk to Celine first, I guess. Oh, Rena, you've come just in time. I'm so bored, sweetheart. Won't you come and have tea with me? Hmm. Certainly, I'd love to. Good, then let's go. Who's this 
person. Uh oh, someone looks mad. Excuse me, is there anything wrong? I'll say there is. This hooligan claims he doesn't have enough money to pay. But I didn't know that I had to pay money here. Do you expect me to believe that? Mm. Should we help him out or should we leave him alone? Let's help him. Wait, we'll pay for him then. Are you serious? But there's no need to help a rascal like him. That's not really the point, handsome. It's more to improve our mood than anything else. Ten bucks? He couldn't pay ten bucks? Hey, punk. Thank the ladies. Are you all right? Please forgive me. Well, this is no place to relax and have tea. What do you say, Rena, sweetheart? Shall we take a walk? Yes, that's a good idea. I think it's a good idea you leave, buddy. Thank you. Um... The name is Celine. And this is Rena. Thank you, Celine. Rena? You're very welcome. And may I ask? What your name is? Oh, of course. <clears throat> oh. Why, it's C Chris. Please call me Chris. Pleased to meet you, Chris. I hope you won't let something like that happen again, Chris. Uh, <laughs> I honestly didn't mean for anything like that to happen. It doesn't matter what you meant. Look at what happened, dear boy. You won't find someone who will help you out as we did ever again. You're right. It was all my fault. I mustn't let it happen again. hard on him, Celine, don't you think? Hmm. Chris, you're quite handsome. Doo -doo -doo. Hey there, Claude. I think I read that before. Alright, let's get some stuff. I do need blackberries. I always like to be well stocked on blackberries. Mm. Oh, God. oh man, that's too much. Um. That's it. That's all I can really afford without going too broke anyway. And let's go out again. Because there's a few cutscenes, but we have to go in and out again, which can get a little annoying. Isn't Click to the North? Let's go back in.
have to remember where to go to trigger that scene. Oh, there it is. I guess that's a later scene that I'm thinking of. Oh, what's going on over here? Chris, is that you? Oh, hello, Celine. What a coincidence. Chris, it's not called a coincidence when you're waiting for someone like that. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? How nice to see you again. What brings you here? I thought that if I were to wait here, I might be able to see you again. I was right. I'm glad I made it in time. Made it in time? Huh? Hmm. Uh, no special meaning to it. <laughs> oh, well now that I'm here, what do you intend to do? First, I must thank you for helping me the other day. Well then, we must fetch Rena too. Can't I just thank you? Celine, will you come with me? Oh, what's going on between these two? Have I just witnessed something? Yes, Rena, you did. Mm -hmm. I remember there's a cutscene around that area, but I gotta remember what to do to trigger it. Not in here yet. Uh, it's not here. Hey buddy, what do you have to say? In the mountains to the west on the continent of Cross, I hear there lives a demon bird. It's dangerous, so you'd best not go there. Hmm, I guess we better go out. Celine's blushing. Celine? Oh, did you say something? Are you alright, Celine? You look. I don't know what to say. It's the first time that anyone has told me so honestly how they feel. He's so innocent. Celine. How should I answer him? Click is on the northern end of the continent. Yeah, and then we have to go back in again. So, I wonder how Celine is going to answer him. Hmm. Now I think this is where that cutscene that I'm thinking of comes in. No? That's weird. No, not in there. Anyway, um, viewers, let me know uh, what you guys think about me cutting out the saves and um, what you think of the video transitions, just because, you know, I'm not going to make you guys 
see see me run all the way out of a dungeon, especially in the longer dungeons right after a boss and all the battles and everything, it, there's no point. It's faster just to cut it out and then, you know, start, start it again at the end of the dungeon and then go to the next scene or whatever you have to do. And seeing the save screen over and over and over can get quite boring, so I think I'm going to start cutting that out from now on too. Saves time on videos. I'm sorry, but you may not enter the castle at this time. Why not? Well, that blows. <sighs> Damn it. How do I trigger that cutscene? I forget. I know I had to go over there. Why didn't it start? Hey, that kid's not back there. The kid that goes, I found it! Oh, it's you, Chris. Speaking of found it, yes, I found the cutscene, yay. I just didn't go far enough, I guess. Oh, oh, they're gonna see us, they're gonna see us, we gotta hide, we gotta hide. Good hiding spot, Rena, right there. So you came after all. I... I don't know why, really, but I felt like there was something that I had to say to you. I've never seen a man look me so straight in the eyes. <laughs> 